That looks like it might be an entrance. Hold on. There's a boat parked there for a reason. Aha! God, I love it when my brain works. <laughs> okay, into the forge. The Ethereum Forge. I can't wait to see what this place looks like. How many adamant ingots do I have? I don't know, but I definitely have more than the minimum requisite of three. Wow. So is this somehow connected to the forge on that island back in the main game? That was also some type of forge. Maybe it was like a miniature version of this. There's the blacksmith. Maybe I can engrave my new, uh, Gauntlets. Hello. Good day. Good day. Buenos dias. <laughs> uh, upgrade. Yeah, scroll through. I got, I got a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can't upgrade the DKSD stuff. Well, whatever. Let's uh, engrave it then. Got to scroll through all my shit again. When I do assassination kills. It uses adrenaline, and I'll get more back instantly if I do this. Or I could do this again. You know what? Let's let's do something new. Let's do something new. There we go. 35% extra adrenaline on assassination kills. That'll do. See you later. Thank you very much. Can I can I leave now? Why is my camera stuck at this angle? Okay. Oh God, where are the stairs? Here they are. Okay, so I have access to the blacksmith now, which is nice, because I had to load all the way into the Greek world and then fast travel to a blacksmith, do all my shit, and then load back into Atlantis. It took forever. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. So there's three legendary weapons. The Forge of Atlantis. The Isu kept the molds for Hephaestus' last great weapons deep in Atlantis. Collect enough adamant ingots, then interact with a mold... And forge your weapon for a hunter, warrior, or assassin playstyle. Okay. Each weapon can only be crafted once. So choose wisely. And for the love of God, don't accidentally dismantle it. Uh, so which one's assassin? That looks like it might be a dagger. So that could be assassin. That is a staff or a mace. So maybe warrior? Oh no, that's definitely a staff. I don't know which one of these is Hunter, but I'm gonna guess this one is Assassin? I don't know, I'm just going for it. Access granted. Initiating Forge Protocol. Select preferred weapon configuration. Oh, I get to pick. Okay, cool. Well, I would like to go for Assassin, please. symbol mean I wonder. Modification approved. Adding assassin module. Oh my god, it's red! I am Sith Lord now. Yes! The power! The power! Oh my god. It's red. It's a health pack and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. That's from Dead Space 2, by the way. <laughs> uh, Isu Forged Assassin's Blade. Reduces all cooldowns by 10% on any assassin ability kill. An extra 1% assassin damage. Oh, God. And 300 extra damage. Forged in the blue flames of Atlantis's heart, this deadly blade has been greatly enhanced. Its edge is sharpened to a monomolecule... Mo let me try that again. Its edge is sharpened to a monomolecular level, enabling it to cut through almost anything. Oh my god, it's blue, not red! That's even better! I am Jedi Knight! Fuck yeah! Oh, I love my weapon! Oh. I love this game and I no longer want it to end. <laughs> I want to use this weapon on everything! Oh my god, come here, I'm engraving this shit. Get it. Get it. I really like being able to chain it to more people. 
I can do more damage before even entering combat with this. Yes, please. Oh my god. I'm in love. Oh, goodbye, and I just realized I probably have more ingots to forge a second weapon based on my playstyle. The daggers are the only ones I'm going to end up using. Uh, I'll do one of each. Access granted. Initiating forge protocol. Select the third weapon configuration. I think I want the staff to be the hunter damage and the mace to be the warrior, just for consistency. I'm never going to use either of these, honestly, but fuck it. I don't know if I have enough to do the third. I have picked up quite a few. Customization complete. That quick. Careful. Ooh, hot. Too hot. <laughs> All right, let me have a look at that sexy thing. Hunter's Spear. That one's yellow. That's awesome. Uh, I think I may want to put that on my back just because... Wait, no, it's not on my back even when I don't use it. That sucks. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. I really wish it was on my back, but I guess that's where the bow is supposed to go, which is a shame. Oh yeah, no, it's up there. I'm missing two. That sucks. So I came in here with seven. I'm missing two more. And I get a, I get a trophy for crafting that too. So maybe we will do that. But hold on, let's take a look at this thing. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my god, the, the, my freaking lightsaber. I am like drooling over here. Welcome. <laughs> These weapons are insane. Um, I love that engraving, but let me take a look at that other one. It's so like 50% of the damage I do in my assassin tree now applies across hunter and warrior as well, which is pretty cool. And I think my bow is hunter. It might be assassin as well, but fuck it. This is a new engraving. I want to give it a shot. Okay. Thank you next time. so much, unnamed NPC, sir. I love my weapons. I love this city. I love this episode. Like, this is my favorite one so far. And I don't even know where the story's gonna go or what's gonna happen. But just... Mm. But this might be the episode. This just might be this episode. I do one side quest and then I finish up getting all the trophies left until I just have to get through all the rest of the story stuff. I, I'm cool with that. I hope you guys are cool with that because we're going to go for the rest of these adamant ingots and 100% these archives right now. This is the closest to a shenanigans episode I think that we've ever done in this game so far. But, uh, I'm cool with that. Consider this episode like a sneak peek into what, are, what the streams are going to be like, except when it comes to streaming, you guys are going to be right here with me during the whole process. Okay, this is the Tinia archive. I have not set foot in here because I haven't been inside any archives above Knowledge Sequence 1 clearance. So this is completely blind. And I will save before I go in here. <laughs> so we need be trouble if I'm spotted here. the data cache, the adamant ingot, two treasures, and a captain. Oh, wow. Oh, I love the, like, plant life in this one. Could do with some more natural lighting. <laughs> I'm an interior decorator all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. So I already got my Blessings of Kronos trophy, which means I can take care of these guys in any way I see fit. And the way I see fit is this way. <laughs> Kurosi! You broke me. That's unfair. <laughs> Ow. I have angered everything. Jesus fucking Christ. I have angered everything. I'm dead. Holy hell. Holy hell. Holy hell. <laughs> and that's why you save outside restricted areas. 
I got my shit pushed in. Also, I blame Bug. That was not my fault. Lag! It was the lag! But no, seriously, that, that Colossi, he bugged me out. So, it's not my fault. <laughs> Thank you. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Maybe. Yeah! Yeah, laser! Kaplooey! That guy caught the edge of the wall. That was probably not fun for him. The funk of the metal is just... It's really satisfying. Ugh, burp. Dead. Where did you go and why? <laughs> what happened there? Woohoo! You know what? I'm gonna end this fight with full adrenaline, thank you. Oh, wait. Give me a second. There we go. I'm gonna end this fight with full adrenaline. Almost full adrenaline. And... Full adrenaline. Give me that. There's one Adam and Tinket. I just need one more. And then we can get that trophy with all three forged Isu weapons. It's gonna suck going back to zero after beating this DLC, being level 80, and like knowing how the game works and having done absolutely positively everything. And then going to Valhalla and starting all the way back over to like level one. Ugh. That's gonna suck. Hi, Icarus. Interesting. And yes, how predictable. Data Cache is always in this bottom room here. In every archive I've been in. Alright. And completed. There were no lore tablets in this one. At least not that I saw. Let me take a quick look around. Ah, here we go. Hades on the Great de Castis. Ros can't be dead. Wow, this just happened. That dog was the last thing my queen and I truly shared. Oh, Ross, you were most loyal to her, but I loved you too. How dare the Keeper value human life over yours? Well, how dare you? He tried to frickin' eat me. <laughs> but I have no time to mourn. It's time to face your killer. And I'll be hanged if she sees me cry. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Big Scary Sauron wannabe Lord of the Underworld. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Okay, here's another one. Persephone on the Great de Castis. Another day in paradise. No blade of grass out of place. No flower petal off shade. Not a single cloud in sight. Most importantly, not a trace of my husband. I could almost forget I'm trapped. I've gilded each bar of my cage and filled it with only the most worthy of souls. Except that one. Is it an intruder? Not an Elysium. You don't belong here. Heh, those were her first words to me when I entered Elysium. Yeah, so it seems that these Isu simulations of Greek gods don't like me very much. But I wasn't the Dicastis yet. Or was I? And I just didn't know it yet. Out we go. To the next archive to get our final Adamant Ingot. Adamant Eve. I get it. Oh shit, sorry Phobos. Well, at least you can swim. Oh, he's so gonna drown. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hold on, I'll save you. I'll save you, just give me a second. If Cassandra wants to climb the fuck out of this goddamn pool, stop swimming towards me so I can save you, goddammit. Let me go down here. There we go. See, I saved him. I'm going in! Oh, a jellyfish. This one actually looks really cool. Save. Alright. One of each thing. Oh, there's an Ostraka in here. Oh, this is gonna turn into a brawl. Hold on. Let me, let me take out everyone down here. Hopefully they won't hear me fighting for my life. <laughs> And 
it will make my life easier. It's gonna get easier, oh, easier somehow. That's another Imagine Dragon song. I mean, say what you will about Imagine Dragons, I find their songs catchy. Regardless of, like, how innovative or actually good they are. Like, I enjoy listening to them sometimes. Okay, so this is the Ostraka. Life couldn't get any better than this. I get to watch magnificent beasts gallop around the track from the best seats in Atlantis. There's nowhere I'd rather be than sitting here under the stars with my best friend. That's nice. Is there some sort of, like, oh, fudge! Is there, like, some sort of, like, horse track? Like a, uh, a, a hippodrome? I'm gonna stab him first and take away a big chunk of his health before I start fighting him. Damn it! I just straight up killed him. I'm going to chalk that up to the engraving I have on these amazing daggers. Oh, right, you can't climb up these bookshelves. Which is stupid, by the way, but the game never lets you climb these bookshelves. Come here. I do so much assassin damage now. Actually, I didn't even look at how my stats improved. Um, oh my god, they improved so much. I didn't even look at that. Oh, that's- why didn't I do this before I ended last session? I could have gone around and 100%ed all the fortresses with this kick-ass weapon. But, alas, hindsight is always 2020. I can, like, murder assassinate anything now. Hello, gentlemen! Boom! Goodbye! Alright, let me read this. Aita, the Great Mind. That's a familiar name. Dicastis Basilius Poseidon. So he wrote this. Back in cycle 16. I think we're in like 55 now or something. Before I banned him from Atlantis, Aita was one of the greatest minds of the Illuminat Casti? Cast? Second only perhaps to his brilliant partner, Juno. Aita was a force for good in numerous schools of scientific development, including biological research, planetary exploration... Are you- is Assassin's Creed gonna be taken to multiple planets now? Wow. Biological research, planetary exploration, and energy efficiency. Well, two of those aren't ridiculous. <laughs> Beginning his journey by helping to develop the wings of Hermes. Aita helped make those. That's really cool to know. Aita ensured the security gateways made life safer for all. As he worked under the school of Consus, Aita was pivotal in developing new and advanced medical technologies still used today. However, due to his refusal to stop human experimentation, Aita was banished back to Phaeon. I don't know where Phaeon is. To my knowledge, his genius has produced no new revelations since, though if directed properly, his great mind will continue to innovate, for better or worse. Yeah, the experimentations. Juno experimented on him to try and help humanity and the Isu, what was left of them anyway, survive uh, the upcoming end of the world, right? The solar flare, I think is why she did it. And it cost him his life. I think it's been a long time. So, I mean, it hasn't been as long as you think because I've played the remastered version of Assassin's Creed 3 that was released for the PS4 Pro. But I don't quite remember the details. That was still a couple of years ago. Okay, here we go. Number two. Encrypted message from Fanis 404. I've read the first three of these, I think, and I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. It was some sort of experiment, I think. Hybrid DNA detected. We were driven from Eden, hoping to find refuge in Atlantis. Despite having to constantly look over our shoulders, I never felt more alive than during my time with my love, especially when we discovered she was pregnant. I never in my wildest calculations imagined this to be possible. She had a little girl growing inside of her, and she was to be named Eve. So this is Adam and Eve's parents? 
God. <laughs> we both knew the offspring of human and Isu parents would immediately be confiscated and experimented on. Our situation became even more dangerous. You were to be protected at all costs of all the humans I helped create. You, Eve, were the most exquisite, the most precious. To look into your eyes is to find... They've located me. I must file end. I am not 100% sure who's talking here. And honestly, I don't remember. It, it was... I assumed it was like a mother talking about her child or something. The way it was worded was very cryptic. And I read the first three and I don't know what they said. And I don't know how to pull them up and read them again without going back into the archives to read them again. And I don't feel like doing that, honestly. Raw adamant. This is a legendary metal that in its raw form can be forged to create Isu devices, much like the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. When did, where did I find that? There, there's a couple of adamant mines around Atlantis, and I went and 100%ed two of them, I think. So maybe that's where I found it. I look so... I just can't get over how cool I look. I can't stop looking at myself. <laughs> okay. I am still missing... Ow. The adamant ingot, which... If the Isu are consistent, which I'm assuming they are, should be right down here. Et voila. All right, I can go back to the forge now. All right, let's read this. Oh, no, this is three. Okay, so this is the message that precedes the one we just read. Hybrid DNA detected. I should be safe for a few moments. Yes, humans weren't obeying Isu, and the project was under threat of termination. Fortunately, at this time, new technologies were in development incorporating the incredible properties of a metal known as adamant. I implanted neural controls into the brains of our human subjects, which could then manipulate with our new adamant-powered devices. I very quickly became the most highly regarded scientist in all of Eden. Could this be Aita? I think I remember in the first message, they, they addressed it. They were like, my name's not important, but you can call me Fanis. This came to an end when I fell in love with a human woman. Not Aita. Juno is definitely not human. She was brilliant, beautiful, so I did the unthinkable. I surgically removed her neural control, and we escaped. This could be Adam and Eve. And then they just named their daughter Eve as well, which, like, Eve Jr. <laughs> it could be. Otherwise, this is like Eve's parents, and then Eve eventually grows up to uh, lead the rebellion against the Isu with Adam. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Back to the forge we go. It's trophy time. Access granted. Initiating the forge protocol. Select preferred weapon configuration. I've done Assassin and Hunter so far, right? So it is time for Warrior. Warrior. <laughs> trophy! I just realized that song means nothing to anyone. <laughs> it's a song my friend made up <laughs> back when I was in like sixth grade. That's a cool looking stick. That's one hell of a walking stick. Oh, and that one's red. So I get they switched the dagger and mace lights on accident, I guess is what happened there. That's weird. But okay, so I have all of them, and I have my trophy, so I'm happy. Not engraving the mace, because I won't ever use it. Uh, I am out of here. Goodbye, Forge. It's been real. You're fucking awesome, and thank you for this sick-ass lightsaber dagger. I got other shit to do in Atlantis, and I will probably never set foot back in here again, unless I need to use the blacksmith. So, don't quote me on that. But if so... Goodbye, Forge. All right, next, I believe, we should do this quest. So let's go for this quest. Dash mount. How convenient. It is right here. I'm an expert navigator. Screw you, Barnabas. I don't need you. I'm joking, of course. I love Barnabas. It's been a long... I don't think I've seen him. No, no, no. No, we saw him in First Blade. We did. That's the last time I saw him. Poor guy. I hope he's keeping himself busy. 
What is this? Okay. Ah, the Castis. Why does this one have I to take place at night? With the solar floral regeneration project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles. Your eyes are creepy. Botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. That's nice. The flowers here can't just grow on their own. Ow. Oh no! You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? I'm Minerva. Who? I've never heard of her. Why do people not like Minerva here? Let me help you. I don't know any Minerva. That would be Cassandra's answer. Or you're not making sense. I'm gonna say this. Because if I say I don't know her, he'll give me more information on how the people of Atlantis perceive her. I want to do this. Plus, this is what Cassandra would say. I don't know anyone named Minerva. Her students are so small-minded about my photosynthesis accelerator. If you want to be a scholar, why follow such a rudimentary doctrine? That sounds cool. Look, do you need something from me? Oh, apologies, Dicastis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically... The plants are a key resource for us here. Are you but okay? A few cycles ago, Seem a bit neurotic. Them and now, the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. That seems dangerous. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of oh, Triton. That's what those are for. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes! And the Castis, taking care of our natural resources, would send a message to all of Atlantis. Okay. A good message, I hope. So that's what these are for. I've ran through the Garden of Triton so many times. Uh, and there's like mirrors like that you can move down there. Need to hit that central structure. Yeah, I thought about moving a couple of them, but I was like, you know what? I bet this is tied to a quest, and so I left it. I just ran through the garden and didn't touch anything, and I'm glad I didn't. Okay, so I need to get this that out of the way. The device now please mentioned. Reminds me of how I opened the door to Atlantis. It does, doesn't it? You're a very observant, Cassandra. Can I like push this off the edge? Bye bye. Okay, so I did that. These are also in the way. Oh, Cassandra, I did not tell you to climb on the pots. Okay, now we scooch this. Whoa, whoa. Okay, it's reflecting over there now. I love puzzles like this. Ugh. There's not a whole lot to say in terms of entertaining commentary, but I do love puzzles like this. Can I break this? Oh, that was easy. Okay. And Zeus said, let there be light. That's nice that it changes color. So if it's the blue beam, don't touch it because worked. it's already done. First one down. That's nice. I'm glad someone in the design room thought of that. <laughs> Probably could have done this one off camera, but oh well, I'm here. Plus, I need to make it up to you for uh, doing those story quests off camera last time. I'll make it up to you. 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 Every night. I'm in a very Imagine Dragons mood right now, can't you tell? <laughs> I'll make it up to you. Every night. All right, let's move this thing. Let go. Thank you. That just goes in the corner. Okay. Which means this probably has to go here in this place. Oh, yep, this is exactly where it goes. They wouldn't block this with pots for no reason. This is exactly where this goes. See, I'm on to your game, Ubisoft. Quite literally, your game. Okay, so that reflects there. Oh my goodness gracious. Where can I even move this? Other than nowhere. Okay, yeah, I see what I have to do. This thing that I'm moving needs to go where that one is shining. 
right here. Otherwise, this don't make no sense. Won't budge. There we go. That's a tight fit. Something's in the way. Yeah, 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 whatever. All right, now this goes in place of that other thing I just moved. Another tight fit, I see. Can it not fit? Okay, this clearly fits in the gap. Like, look at this clearly fits. Wait, it's reflecting off of stuff. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. What am I doing with my life? I should have noticed that earlier. I'm dumb. Eh. There we go. I was, I was making that way more complicated than it needed to be. All right, two of three. We're definitely not beating the DLC today, by the way. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna have to wear this again next time. And if I forget, I'll hate myself forever. Yeah, this is the one that I ran past and I was like, huh, this is clearly blocking. Maybe I should move this, but decided not to. Because it was part of a puzzle that I had not unlocked yet, essentially. I didn't know why I was doing it, so I didn't do it. Okay, I'm confused again. How is this gonna work? I need to get all of these out of the way. That's not gonna work. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I might have this. I might have the solution. Maybe. Okay, come through here. All right, now this is out of the way. So that I can pull this back and move it to create the gap. Yeah, that wasn't so hard. And the next obstruction... Is this it? Really? This the this is the easiest one. Eh. Alright. Done. And done. That <laughs> just splashed me and hit me in the nose. That is a big kyber crystal. Beautiful. Yes indeedy. That should do it. I'll tell Neo case it's done. Um that doesn't seem good. Back. What happened? They overloaded the generator is what happened. God damn it. I told you we should have splurged on the newer model. Ten thousand extra BTUs. I don't know. <laughs> damn it, Jim, I'm a gamer, not an electrician. <laughs> I moved your light beams. It seemed to be working, but then... The beams are aligned, yes, but the power isn't running. I but managed to figure that out. Oh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. Right, right. The enhanced pho... Not the photons! <laughs> I have to pick this one. Oh no, something's wrong with the photons. Uh, are you making fun of me? Who doesn't know what photons are? Just me and the rest of the Greek world. I know what photons I never are. Know photons. When my enhanced source powers the device, it should. <laughs> oh. Unless the light is not progressing from the source, rendering it unenhanced. You mean the problem is that it's nighttime? So the next step is. Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of imperial... It's a rock. It's a rock. Igneous. Just make sure there's <laughs> a rock in the control room. <sighs> metamorphic. Fine. I'll go see if this rock is... The fuck there. is the third one? I always forget. Igneous, metamorphic... Mm, uh, whatever. Damn it, Jim. I'm a gamer, not a geologist. <laughs> 